I wonder, I'm, remind, I'm sorry, did you tell me your name? Yeah. What was your name? You forgot. <laughs> and you said I was special, but you gave me the mic. Check. All right. So my name is Tanu, and my question in and around goes uh, for attraction. I do get asked for dates, but I'm never interested in those dates. And the guys whom I'm interested in, they are never interested in me. And the guys whom I'm interested in, they are never interested in me. If you were to have a guess at it, you seem very intelligent. So if you were to have a guess at it, why do you think that they don't see you as the sexual partner, instead they see you as the friend? Um, if you were to guess. Okay, this is my guess. I don't have a very friendly face. I don't have a very friendly face. <laughs> have another guess. Um... um because if you didn't have a friendly face, no one would want to be your bro. Exactly, I'm their bro friend, but I'm not no. their girlfriend. Exactly, I'm their bro friend, but I'm bro. not their girlfriend. But, but why do you think that is? It's not because you don't have a friendly face. I really don't know, Matthew. I'm not sure. It was sort of sexy when you said Matthew. <laughs> I wish you'd do that more often. I wonder, I'm, remind, I'm sorry, did you tell me your name? Yeah. What was your name? You forgot. <laughs> and you said I was special, but you gave me the mic. Maybe we should go for a beer and talk about it. <laughs> Don't you dare call me bro. I break your head, I promise. Well, um, well, have you finished, have you finished berating me in, <laughs> in public? No, I mean, like, I'm really here for the question of attraction because... <laughs> it never lasts. That's my question. It never lasts. Well, I was just flirting with you and you shouted at me. You forgot my name. I'm not interested suddenly. But why did you use that opportunity to, to get angry with me? No, I'm not angry with you. We I'm letting have, you we know. Could have, we could have had such a little fun flirt right now. You should have said my name will be whatever you want it to be. It's a tad forward. <laughs> but let's just stay... Let's stay with you. I still have, I, I still need your name, if you help My name's me. Tanu. T-A-N-U, Tanu, okay. That energy you had with me when you were, um, when you were having a bit of a, a go at me, that's actually not bad. I just want you to channel it slightly differently. This is the thing, Tanu, there are millimeters between you getting what you're getting now and you getting everything you want. Millimeters, I promise you. I, pro I know, I promise I know. If you had just said, you don't remember. When, when I said, I, what was your name again? If you said, you don't remember. And I said, no, I'm so sorry. And you said, oh, I'm gonna tell you, but you better make that up to me. <laughs> All right. Now we have tension. Can you see how tiny the difference is between the two? One of them, I feel, I feel shouted at. The other one, I'm like, oh, I'll make it up to you. We'll figure out a way. <laughs> so a tiny difference. So when I say you're millimeters off, I'm not saying that to encourage you. I'm not saying it to flatter you. I'm not saying it to sugarcoat. I think you know by now I don't sugarcoat things. I'm saying it because I, I truly know. The difference between everything you want and where you are now is this. Before we break down and get into the meat of this video, guys, <laughs> 
what do you notice about all the women in the room at that guy's conference or seminar, including a woman holding a mic? Rewind the clip back and take a look. Number one, they're all average to below average in looks. And number two, they all look age 30 years old and older, which means they're past their prime. See, what's going on with modern women, including the female that's holding a mic, that Indian chick, they think they're God's gifts to mankind. They can have the worst attitude. They can walk around like they're the greatest thing that's graced the earth, but they still want a high value, attractive, successful man. See, every woman wants one of those guys. But what makes her so special? What makes any woman so special that you deserve a certain type of guy? See, that's what's really going on. Most women, they want a guy that they can't have. They want a guy who's unattainable because he is a guy who other women want. So the female, this is why I don't feel bad for her. I don't feel bad for anyone who's single. And you should neither, guys. They have a lot of options. They have dudes who are actually on their level. But due to hypergamy and women want the best of the best deal, they think the grass is green on the other side, they reject the guys on their level and they go for these guys way up here that are multiple notches above them. Those guys smash, they hook up, they have sex, they have a good time after that. They kick those women to the curb. And these women become bitter, they become angry, and they go to conferences like that wondering, how can I attract this certain guy? What they mean is, how can I get this certain top tier guy that keeps smashing me, that keeps running through me, that keeps bending me over in lamp pipe? How can I get him to take me serious? This is what these women want. Not just her, but women of all ages. They want a guy who a whole bunch of chicks want to get with, but they want that guy to invest in them, take them on dates, take them serious, do all these different things with them, but it will never work due to the fact that if a guy is a hypothetical nine out of 10, he'll hook up and have sex with a woman who's not just an eight, who's not just a seven, who's a six because it's just sex. He don't have to be seen with you. He doesn't have to date you. He doesn't have to spend money on you. Because that woman who's a six, she's going to be grateful and excited to have sex and be around that guy. But then that guy's like, oh, you know, I don't see this going anywhere. You know, I just like hanging out with you. Uh, I'm a homebody. I don't really go out that much. Yeah, he doesn't really go out that much with your type because you're not that good looking. Women, you don't understand that. See, women think that, oh, just because a guy wants to have sex with me, uh, because he wants to hook up and he wants to get physical with me, that means uh, he actually wants to be with me. That means we're together. No, that doesn't equate that. And so many women are confused because they're wondering, man, where are all these good guys? All the good guys are the ones you're rejecting. Those guys that want to take you out just like they want to take that Indian female out holding the microphone with a bad attitude, which is actually really rude. She uh, got frustrated. It was like, you don't remember my name? You said I was special. And that sums up modern women. They think that they're special. They think that, oh, you should remember this. You should do this. You do. And all the women in the room are just laughing like it's a joke. That, listen, I would have kicked that chick out if that was my conversation. Hey, you know what? You got to go. To teach her a lesson. Don't allow her to stay there because I guarantee you she has that type of attitude to average men, to guys who are actually on a level because she is quite frankly a three out of ten. And she's not even attractive like that. I'm, I'm, let's be honest. Every man in the comment section can agree. Yeah, she's like, uh, nah, I'm good. So just imagine you waking up to that. You going on a date with that type of chick. She's not even, she's below average in looks on the sexual market scale. Let's just give her average to be nice. And she's walking around like, well, you got to do this. You got to do that for me. And you're like, yo, like, who are you? You think you're a princess? And most women just are entitled. Due to social media, due to dating apps, due to all the thirsty men that bombards them in their comment section and the messages and, and everything like that in their DMs. Every woman thinks that they're three to four notches above their sexual market value than they actually are. So if a woman's a six out of 10, she thinks she's a nine just because she puts on makeup. Because, just because guys say, hey, and, and comment and, and like their stuff. And so they have these inflated egos. But then as they start to get older, like the females in that audience, they wonder, I want a good man. Where are all these guys? See, women don't live in an actual reality, right? They don't understand where their sexual market value is. They don't know what their rank out there. 
So they sit around and they're confused and they're, and they're frustrated and they're angry and they have all these cats and then and this box wine and they want to, where are all these good men? Just like you heard her say, she's rejecting them. She doesn't want the guys who want her. She wants the guys that don't want to be with her. It's crazy. It's insane. You would think that doesn't make any sense. But if you think about it, this is how women operate because they want to compete and jockey for the highest quality guy because that dude is going to give them a much better life. Just think about it. If a woman's a six out of 10 and she's with a guy who's a six out of 10, in her mind, she's like, I'm settling. So this guy's on my level. Well, I got to settle for him and they're going to be frustrated. They're going to be mad. They're going to be like, oh, well, I guess I got to be with this guy. And they remember, man, I used to have sex with a guy who's two to three notches above me. He was an eight, nine. And, and man, now I got to settle and, and just, yeah, that's what you have to do. Because that guy actually wants to be with you. That guy, both you guys are compatible. So all you women out there who might come across my video, listen to that woman. Bad attitude. Think she's uh, just a most amazing person. Think she's special. And she's sitting there. You can just hear the frustration and anger and, and ruthlessness in her voice. She's attacking a man who she came to get advice for. You don't remember my name? I mean, I've never heard of that name before, uh, but all in all, guys, this is what's out there. Average to below average women who are past their prime with bad attitudes and crazy high expectations who wants you to wine and dine them and, and treat them like uh, they're princesses and pedestalize them. This is what these women want. And they're, listen, they've been used up. They have all this hurt, this pain, this, this, this anger in them. They, they're jaded, and now when they get to a certain age or a certain guy, now they want to unleash and put all that, that garbage in and leave it at his doorstep deal, and have him deal with it, have all these roadblocks and, and walls up, and you got to chip down. Guys, listen, if you encounter women with bad attitudes, don't try to fix it. Don't try to say, oh, she's just playing hard to get. No, let those women go because they're not worth the headache in the long run.